Ladies and gentlemen, adventure time, because life is terrible, and I need something not to pull me out of life, but something to drug me. I like looking th at the world through the eyes of a coke addict, through the eyes of a meth addict, through the eyes of a heroin abuser. I want this show to make me feel like an I'm overdosing. That is why I'm watching this right now. Pull me out of this tragic reality we exist in. This sad corporeal realm and throw me into a world of drugs. Because that's what this show is to me. Memories of Boom Boom Mountain. Okay, okay. Is the PTSD episode question mark? You guys sure you run another round of squid ink? <laughs> oh, bro, look at this guy. Holy crap, his ass is coming out of his hips. He's so thick. <laughs> were they just kicking each other in the nose? Dude, I see this and I'm just like, okay, this is just adventure time shenanigans, I guess. I don't even question it anymore. <laughs> You're not too bad for a human boy. Not too bad? I'm better than that! Huh? <laughs> hey! Do you hear that? What'd you say? What? Oh my god, it's a reindeer with a smurf face. What in the ever loving smurf fuck is going on right now? Whoa! I think someone's crying. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> this is serious! I gotta go find out where that crying is coming from! Get back here, you chickens! Oh! Yo! Oh! Oh! What did you call me? Uh-oh. You can't just walk away from a rough house! Hey! Listen up, you cold-hearted marauders! Somebody's out there crying for help, and I'm not gonna ignore that! Aw, oh, here he comes! Lay it down, Finn! A long time ago, when I was a baby... Bro, are we getting some tragic hero backstory right now? I went boom-boom on a leaf. What? Boom-boom! Then I fell backwards, and sat in my own boom-boom. I cried for a day. But That's rough, buddy. That, that, oh, okay. No one came to help me. That day, I vowed to help anyone in need, no matter how small their problem. That is the greatest backstory I've ever seen. Dude, I'm coming here from watching One Piece. Every backstory is like a Shakespearean tragedy. And and here we go, bro. And that's it, just as simple as that. The memories of Boom Boom. I get it. That's the episode. What is even happening? And that's why I need to go. Yeah, this is one of the origin stories of all time. Woo! Yeah. 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 What the hell is even going on? Oh, yeah. 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 He still cries when he poops. Thanks for being cool, guys. Yeah, you didn't need to say that, Jake. Thank you, bro. But but you really did. You didn't need to say. Yeah. Okay. Wait up, Finn. <laughs> why why would you? Oh. It's coming from up there. Someone must be caught in that avalanche. Let's get it on. <laughs> That is such a convenient power. So, who's crying? I am. Whoa. Aw, what's wrong, fella? You crying boulders? Sure, cause why not? I, I love that he doesn't question it. Like, zero, this rabbit hole is getting deeper and deeper. What is this lore? Does any of this actually make any sense? Or is it just a world of whatever the fuck? Yes, I am sad, having been forced to watch roughhousing men for centuries. Man, if I was forced to watch big blue people beating the hell out of each other for centuries, I would cry too. Oh, I see. You're feeling left out, and you want a rough house too! Well, I'll take you on, tough guy. Come on, back me up, Jake! Yeah, do it, Finn! Hit him with a boulder, and then hit him with another rock! Please! No roughhousing! It m makes me so sad! Yeah, I think they really got that message a little bit wrong, bro. There's a sentient gum princess and slime princess, and you question a sentient mountain. <coughs> the point is I wasn't questioning it. The point is the giant mountain that's crying boulders shows up, and they just think it's normal. That's what I found hilarious. <laughs> Because they're so rough on each other! Ah, uh, This mountain's just a big softy. A smooth, well-controlled roughhouse bolsters your guts and, uh, rejuvenates the muscle. No! 
It's raunchy and maddening. Oh, those men and their disgusting, fantastic bodies. What? Bro just has a boner. Bro has like a embarrassment boner. This out here, the, the peak of Karen Mountain over here. Sitting here, Karening her way into oblivion. Sitting here at the very, very top. Bro, don't tell me this is like supposed to be some commentary on closet gay people or something. Like, oh no, I don't even want to hear any of this. Whoa, this guy's got problems. <gasps> Look, mommy. Honey, don't look. That kid's got problems. Oh, no. I'll help you, Mountain. Whoa, what? I'll stop those roughhousers from being rough. Really? You do that for me? Bro, this is just someone out here bitching on Twitter that they see boobs. It's like, oh, man, I hate it. I'm scrolling through Twitter and, and I saw boobs and it's ruining my life. My life is over because of all the boobs that I just saw on Twitter. Ah, and then you have someone, don't worry, lady. I'll help you not see boobs anymore. Yes, sir. My name's Finn, and I'm gonna help you out. But Finn, we're not gonna shut down the rough house for real, are we? No way. But there's gotta be some kind of solution. If you follow Fifi, you're asking for it. No, Fifi has no boobs. I'll figure this out, mountain man. Yup. He just jumped off a cliff. They literally just jumped to their death. Hey, you guys. Ah, oh, Finn. Ready to get destroyed? No, no. Uh, uh, wait, uh. Oh, no, the voice crack. No, no. <laughs> Definitely not, not. I mean, at least not for the front. Um, actually, can you guys stop being so rough? What? 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you talking about, Finn? Could you just tone down the rough housing? Why don't they just move the rough housing to the other side of the mountain? A little? What? Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, it's all right, fellas. Finn. I'm sure this tone down the rough housing thing has something to do with your boom boom, and I can respect that. But how can we possibly make rough housing less rough? I think I have a perfect idea. This will soften your punches for smooth. Oh my god, this is the worst idea of all time! Okay, I think the moral of the story is that if someone's crying and they are claiming to be a victim, and they're crying over something that's really none of their business at all it sucks to be them i i hate to be so crass and rude i i hate it but gotta be a little toxic to toxic people here if you're if you're that mountain if you're complaining about something that literally does not affect you at all and you're just crying and complaining about someone else's mentality or whatever just shut the fuck up you do not deserve to be saved you are not a victim you are cringe with knockouts like punching a dream <laughs> <laughs> picked up my knees! Picked up my knees! Bro, this is the worst idea of all time! They could have picked anything else than animals! That's like math. Mathematical. Yeah. What do you think? Fixed all your problems, right? No, that was terrible! Now the men are just punching animals! It's worse than before, and it's in no way a good solution! I really hope that the moral of the story is, you know what, Mountain? You're a bitch, and we're just gonna annoy you, and we're not gonna do anything, and we're just gonna piss the hell off for no reason. I hope that that's the moral of this story. Sorry! Well, you should be! It's not fair to those animals, and it's not fair to me! It's not fair that you are are imposing your cringe on other people. I might just start to cry again, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Come on, Jake. I gotta give this another shot. Finn, this guy seems like a real nut job. You know what I mean? You don't want to get sucked into this guy's hang-ups. Yes. See, I disagree. I don't think he's crazy. I think he's entitled. I think that's even worse. I love crazy people. It's the entitled ones that are kind of annoying. I do, Jake. That's what I vowed to help anyone in need, no matter how small their problem. <laughs> At least that's true, <laughs> oh, brother. God. So be it, brother. Hey, guys. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Guys? <clears throat> Men? Men, please stop a second. <laughs> Men, boys, please, I have more to ask of you. Bros? My bros? Brother? What? Did you just pet me? I'll pet you, pet pet. Hey, pet pet. Hey, this is great. Hey, did you just pet me? Yeah, I did. Well, I'm petting you back. Whoa, whoa. 
What the? What is even happening right now? What is even happening right now? What is even happening right now? What is going on? This is awesome. <laughs> All right. This could be it. Yeah. Dude, I love how nonsensical the solutions that they come up with is. And they just work somehow. <laughs> things up in the best of ways to what is even happening hey. maybe you can solve everyone's problems like a cherub with his bottom out <laughs> okay cool hey i'm gonna go tell the mountain all right i'm gonna uh, uh, mm, i'm gonna stay here this time <laughs> so everything's fine this time right yes no no this mountain does not deserve to be happy thank you finn so the mountain is totally fine with everybody petting. I feel great. Right on, man. The marauders are going crazy over the petting. They're petting each other raw. Check them out. <laughs> what? Uh, that's okay. That, that's, yeah, that's oh my god, dude. What is even happening right now? They look kind of rashy. Hey, Finn. Uh, hey, man. Uh, as you can see, the petting got sort of out of hand. Oh, uh, stop that! We are done with that! We're going back to rough housing! No, wait, fellas! Th the mountain doesn't like rough housing! Well, we don't like not rough housing! Based, based, why should they have to do the thing that the people that had nothing to do with it tell them that they need to do? You see the problem here? Well, what if... What if we rotate the entire mountain 180 degrees around? So the mountain's facing the other direction. Yeah! That way, you guys can keep rough housing. And she can stop bitching. And the mountain doesn't have to watch it. Sounds fine with me. What do you say, mountain? That's okay. Only if you guys promise to stay healthy and not rough house after you rotate me. That mountain can talk? Just promise him anything. <laughs> he just noticed? Gord. Uh... Yeah, we'll stay healthy. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, good. Stay healthy. This is like the vegans out there trying to tell everyone that they also need to be vegan. Yes. All right, kids. Spin me the math around. Now I just need to set up some sort of pulley system. No! Over here! Don't turn around! Because if you cave to one person, if you cave one damn time, one damn time, time you complain once and you cave once to someone that does not deserve your respect it's just gonna be another one if you do then i'll miss looking at his beautiful bag Let's go. bro she out here just getting off looking at his bag oh <gasps> what really what uh but uh, okay um maybe what we can yeah, do excuse is excuse me huh? we need your help there's no music playing and we desperately want to dance that's it baby once one person complains and you cave, the next person is going to complain and you're going to have to cave too. I love the moral of this episode so much. Oh, uh, hold on just a second, you guys. I'll, uh, I'll help you out in one minute, okay? Hey, pipe down over there. I want some peace and quiet. Uh, let me just, uh, I need to be pollinated. Bro, I am so happy with what is happening right now. This is the ultimate moral of the story. The ultimate moral of the story. Huh? Pollinated all over to make my babies. Everybody, please. One problem at a time. My butt's itchy, but I can't scratch it. This water's too cold. Mommy, please keep the flag away from our mommy. That guy's still not oh, trying God. anger. If I swipe my plum. We want a rough house. We want a rough house. <laughs> I love this episode! I love this episode! <laughs> okay, also, that guy's kind of kind of wild. What's happening? Ah! Everybody wants different things, and some of them want stuff that's exactly the thing the others don't want. Whoa, dude, hold on. So this guy wants this, and that guy wants that. But man, what do you want? What do you Bro! Want? Bro! What do you want, baby? Why are you crying? Margaret, this baby won't tell me what's wrong with it. Oh, my God. And it's stuck to a leaf, and it stinks. Give it here, Joshua. This baby just needs some love. <laughs> Joshua? Is that Jake's dad? And kisses to be happy. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> there. See? No, it's happy. You just kissed a boom boom baby. So don't expect any more sugar from me, sweetheart. Until we wash your dead. Wait, what the fuck? Dirty face. <laughs> <gasps> Jake, what I want is to help anyone in need. So everyone is happy. 
Wow, that's pretty corny, man. But let's. Yeah, that is pretty corny. Do it, dude. Woohoo! Ready over there, mushroom gang? Ready, Finn? Ready, dragon? Yes, sir. Ready, mountain man? <coughs> I'm ready. Go! Bro, what? Can't hear a thing. Yeah. What? Pollen, here they come. Oh my God. Bro, what is that butt? Oh my lord. Dude, I've seen a lot of dragon porn in my day, and I have never seen a butt quite that pink. <laughs> Not naked! Hey, I can't see anything! Is anyone roughhousing? No! Radical. And I can still see this gorgeous back! Thank you, Finn! You what?! I guess the fantasy part of this episode is the fact that you're actually able to make everyone happy. <laughs> really helped everybody. <laughs> Follow your dreams, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly. Honestly. Stop! I've got a problem. Well, what's the matter? This dolphin fell in love with me. Killer. That's the opposite of a problem. Adventure time! <laughs> So they're just gonna keep the dolphin on the hook forever, and uh, and uh, meanwhile he has a girlfriend. It's only a matter of time until all that falls apart and everyone suffers. I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna say the thing. I like this episode. I like this episode. I like the moral of the story, and I like that despite the obvious moral that they were getting to, they still decided, you know what? We're gonna one-up it. We're gonna make this a whole fantasy episode. We're gonna make everyone happy for just one minute. Finn will see them all happy for one minute, and it'll all collapse. And even though it'll all collapse instantly, it doesn't matter, because you know that the viewers, you got the moral of the story, and he could live in his life of just making believe he actually helped everyone. That was good. I like this episode a lot. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Stay weird, fam.